Is there something? Well, is there a clue? For instance, we thought they were eccentricities. The umbrella, the surgical mask, the signature white glove. Could this, in fact, be a personal style that evolved to disguise a serious disease? Joining us now is lupus expert, Dr. Robert Lahita, author of Lupus Q&A and Women in Autoimmune Disease. And it's good to have you with us again. Good, good to see you. What is lupus? Lupus is an autoimmune disease, as you said, where the immune system, one of our larger systems that's designed to protect us against germs and viruses, actually attacks our own body cells and tissues. And let's talk about some of the consequences of that, because vitiligo, Michael Jackson acknowledged having vitiligo, which yes. is splotchiness of the skin. Is yes. this lupus related? This can be autoimmune disease related. Many patients with lupus have vitiligo, but he had a form of skin lupus called discoid lupus, which affects about 40% of the patients with lupus, and you do get depigmentation. It does splotch your skin. Now, let's take a look at the umbrella, because you have said, one thing you say to lupus patients, don't let the sun hit your skin. That's right. That's right. So that umbrella, would it, which he carried out in the sun, may have been just that. That's exactly correct. And then there was something else that intrigued us, because Cicely Tyson, as we know, wonderful actress, said something that... that startled us yesterday. She said, my designer also designed for Michael. All of a sudden he said to me, I'm doing this glove for Michael. Michael was beginning to develop the vitiligo. It started on his hand. The glove that he wore, the one glove, came into being to camouflage that. Does it often start on the hand? Would that surprise you? That's right. You? It's very interesting. It, it affects the neck, the face, the, the upper part of the wrists, and the groin. And vitiligo is pretty common of and by itself, but with autoimmune disease, it's very common. A couple of other things. The fibromyalgia, which, as we know, is a terrible aching in yes. the joints. We saw him at times in a wheelchair. Yes, it's conceivable. Now, quite a few of my patients have fibromyalgia. About 50%, I would say, suffer from that. And it's possible, and that's a terrible chronic pain condition, as you said. He may have suffered from that. A sleeping disorder. We, we know that one of the reasons they are alleging that he had this anesthesia was he he could not sleep. Very common to be an insomniac and have diseases like discoid or systemic lupus. And hair loss? Because a lot of people have presumed that the hair that he had was in fact a wig. We call the hair loss alopecia and it is also very common, particularly in discoid lupus. And as you may recall that he had that commercial accident here in New York City mm -hmm. and that's probably the time when the discoid lupus was discovered on his scalp. That's right. It allegedly burned his scalp. Final thing, lupus and heart. Yes. As we know, it can inflame the heart as well. When you heard about his death, did you wonder if yes. there was any implication also to his heart from the lupus? I did. One of the most remarkable things about this remarkable disease is accelerated hardening of the arteries or atherosclerosis. The heart is often involved, the blood vessels are involved in most of my patients, and premature heart disease is very common and uh, arrhythmias that could have been attendant to this Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Well, again, Dr. Lahita, thank you so much. Thanks, Looking Diane. at those pictures in a whole new way.